Right, Rook? No. I'm trying to win the game, Josh. We've got the ball back. The chance to go win it or tie it at the end. Our guys keep swinging. So there's a lot of things we got to do better. And uh, it starts every, you know, everywhere. It starts at, at the top with me. And there's a lot more that goes into quarterback play than just stats. And uh, we, you know, we got to protect better. We got to do everything better. So you got to give Carolina credit. They came out, they got the lead. Um, they won both lines of scrimmage. And it wasn't pretty. You know, we, the drives we had going, we had some pretty, uh, you know, ugly, ugly penalties, moved us back. We were off track a lot of the night. As ugly as it was at the end of the day, Josh, we had the ball. We got the ball back with a chance to go win or tie. And so it says a lot about our guys, and, uh, but clearly it wasn't good enough. Arthur, is that something you might look at? Mike, I know those are the, the popular narratives uh, right out there. Those are the easy questions to ask. As a whole football team, we got to do a better job, starting with myself. So we look every week to make sure that we got the right, right guys in the right spots. And um, like I said, we got we got to protect better. We got to play the run better. You know, Chicago's going to come in here and try to run it 500 times, and so we got a lot of work ahead of us. So just to be clear, you just say Marcus. Mike, look, guys, you can make it about the quarterback. How about about the team? So we, we had an opportunity at the end of the, in the fourth quarter of the last two weeks, and uh, for a lot of different ways, in a lot of different phases, Mike, we're, we got to get better, and uh, we're thankful that we got an opportunity to come back and do that with seven games left. left. What were some of the issues with the run Well, they kept back, and you know when you're running some of those zone schemes, D-Led, and they cut back, and we're out of a gap. Uh, they had some, some decent runs there, and uh, they kind of grinded it out. And like I said, it uh, wasn't great by either team on third down, but they, they had more than we did. It's the NFL. I mean, you got to give them credit. They have a say too, and they came out and they they put everything they had in it. And uh, like I said, it was wasn't uh, it was kind of ugly at first, but somehow, some way, our guys find a way to at least have a chance to go win it. And as always, there's a lot of things we got to correct, and and we will. The fourth and inches early on at the ten. Did you think hard about going to that? Backed up. Yeah. For the half. Hell no. In a game like that, that was low possession. Early in that game, fourth and short, backed up. No. We didn't have a lot of carries, Mike. And so a lot of it was we, he was all over the place in different spots too, Mike. So again, those are easy stats to look at. Um, we'll look at everything. But, uh, you know, we didn't come out. We didn't run the ball very well, but we chipped away. We had some decent runs in the third quarter. And obviously we're down two possessions and, you know, you're in a hurry up and we're able to move the ball pretty quickly down the field, made some big throws and big catches. Um, you know, caught the, caught the uh, touchdown pass to Hodge, had a chance, had a chance to get a pick, didn't, had a chance with the ball back and we didn't, we went four and out. It's hard when you're scrambling to set your feet. So, guys are competitor. Like all our guys, they fight. It wasn't pretty, but they fight. And, you know, probably something here or there every play. But we'll look at it, at it all, Josh, like we do every week. It looked like there were a lot of low snaps as well. Is that an effect of weather? Is that... Probably had something to do with it, but again, we didn't fumble any snaps. They ran the same calls. They just won some of the battles up front early, but um, they brought five-man pressure a bunch last time we played them. Everybody does against us. Not many people are playing us straight up, so we're kind of used to it. But again, they, they, they got a good front, and uh, they won some of the matchups early. Uh, we stuck with it. I don't have the numbers in front of us, but we kept chipping away, and we, we hit some runs. Uh, Algier hit some runs. Huntley hit one down there in the third quarter. and. Uh, Probably the reason we had a chance late. So the decision to start uh, Rashad Fenton at uh, cornerback. Yeah, I wanted to, you know, Rashad 
want to see what he could do. And, uh, you know, so with the way the plan was, we you know, try to play to his strengths. And, um, we're, you know, we're happy we have Rashad. There's a lot of guys we're cycling up front. You're on a short week. You know, guys played a lot of snaps on Sunday. So we're trying to keep guys fresh on a short week so we didn't have injuries pile up either. I mean, that's, that's a big part of it as well, make sure guys are fresh. And again, we'll look at everything, whether that was a good strategy or not, but that was the reason behind it. So it wasn't a we, we, Everybody, did you see how many guys we subbed up front, outside yeah. linebackers, inside linebackers? Yeah. Pretty common. Yeah. He did. Um, yeah, we left last night. Asked him on the plane if how Maggie was doing. And they thought that she was going to get induced on Sunday. So, you know, he was, she'd gone to the doctors, what he told me yesterday. And then he woke up this morning and obviously uh, she went into labor. And so he thankfully he went, uh, went down there and uh, saw his first uh, baby born. And then thankfully, Mr. Blank able to pick him up and, and get him up here, and he played. It says a lot about Jake, and he got to be there for the birth of his first child, and he came back and wanted to play.